So this is my circuit right here, and my seven segment display is um, connected to the positive and negative terminals. Pretty much what this negative terminal is, it's the common cathode. The common cathode is the pin that, that is shared by all these different LEDs. And so it's the negative pin of this entire component. The common anode is the positive pin of this entire component. And that is why I have my 330 ohm resistor connected on this blue line, which is the negative terminal of my breadboard. And the red line is the blue terminal of my breadboard, and that's why my common anode is connected onto the blue terminal. And um, for the seven segment display, it is called seven segments because it has seven different compartments. Um, different Seven different segments that comprise the eight. And then here's my decimal point. And so in order to associate these different segments, um, we label them with letters. And then for the decimal point, we're gonna label it with DP. And so in order to turn these on, I have my flat connected to this pin. So this pin is connected to the positive terminal. And so in order to power pin eight, or pin A, we have this flag connected to this yellow wire, and then this yellow wire is gonna connect to ground. So ground is the positive um, uh, terminal of this breadboard. So we're gonna do this to these, uh, to all the different, um, various different segments, and then we're gonna see what happens when we power it to our battery. So I've finished wiring the various different segments. Now, in order to power this, I'm just gonna grab a 9-volt battery, and then connect it directly. So really, the idea of a seven-segment display is similar to uh, just a regular LED, because the only difference this makes is that it is just one entire box, and all these LEDs share one different, share the same um, negative terminal and the same positive terminal. You can just make your own seven-segment display if you want, which is LEDs and on the breadboard. So it's the same idea. Uh, I finally have my seven-segment display powered. And so if I want to turn off a specific segment, I'm able to do so if I disconnect. So for example, if I want to get rid of A, segment A, I'm going to get rid of this wire from ground in order to power it off. And so now it's off. So if I want to make a one, I'm going to leave um, B, B and C on, and then the rest of these segments off. And so I just need to find the correct one. And so if I want to form a two, I'm going to have my A segment on and two as well. And so that's going to give me a two. So if I want to form a three, I'm just going to have this one turned on. And then I'm going to have P and E turned off. And so I'm going to have a three now. So that's the cool thing about manipulating uh, the various different segments on our seven segment display. And um, this is just a very intuitive and very basic way of explaining seven segment displays. So in order to understand the circuit better, I have already drawn a, um, a schematic of a seven segment display. Each segment is being labeled with an individual letter, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, in clockwise form. And then we have our decimal point labeled as DP. So these are the different compartments that um, form the seven segment display. Obviously every single one comes with, um, each LED has a negative and a positive pin. Here is our common anode or common cathode is our negative pin. It's connected to the negative terminal. And then we have our uh, common cathode, which is also connected to ground. And so what we did in our circuit is we Graphed A, so just draw all the various different pins. Here's B and A, um, decimal point C, D, E, and here is um, F and G. And so each pin powers an individual segment. So I'm just um, explaining it again, and so you guys can understand this better. And so I have a flat here. So for pin A, it's connected to a flat. And so that's my flat wire. That's just to bring more conductivity into my circuit. And then here I have another wire. This time it's actually connected to ground. So the, that's the ground terminal, also known as the positive terminal of our circuit. Now we have B. 
doing the same thing, grab a flat, connect this to ground. And uh, this is positive. All right, so in order to power the seven segment display, we need to make sure we're connecting this with the resistor. So resistors can allow us to um, bring a steady flow of current, not bring all nine volts directly into our seven segment display because that's gonna burn it and we don't want that. So uh, we put resistors, forgot to put resistor. Um, see if I can fix that. So there's my resistor and it's connected to a negative pin. Um, resistor, positive pin. I know it may look messy because I messed up, but yeah, put resistors on for the common cathode and common anode. And now um, just label it, this is one, two, and now we're gonna have pin C, which is this part, exact same thing. Grab yourself a flat, connect this to ground, And that's going to allow us to power C. Same thing for DP. All these pins can be connected ground. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something back. And of course, we're going to need um, our connectivities. So these are going to be connected onto our battery. Um, nine volts. This is the positive, and here's the negative. So this is literally my circuit. Um, that's what comprises every comport um part of my seven segment display, and uh, yeah, that's how it would look like in a schematic. Um, thank you guys for watching my tutorial. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, if you really didn't understand something or um, want more clarification, you can put it in the comments down below. Um, other than that, um, subscribe if you want and I'll see you in the next video.